right away. Let's jam. So the watcher comes in with me. Roll to see where it's going. It's five. So it's going to go to the portal, which is here. I'm not going to rush in. But this is one of the cards, as I was saying earlier. Choose one destroyed monster and return it to its lair. So both the monsters are now back in play. And any units or other monsters in that lair are sent to the underworld. There was nobody there, so that's okay. So, um, back to me. I think what I'm going to do here is place this guy back out here and build another dwelling with my guy here. That should cost me two gems. I've only got one. But because I'm using the wizard, it says when you use your wizard to perform an action, you may substitute potions to pay any resource costs. I could also use my coin because they're wild, um, but I'll use, I'll use the potion and it means that I can build a dwelling here, which protects him. It moves me up on another glory track. which is this one, but because it's uh, here and it's next to one, two, three, I get six more victory points. And you get two for every ruin that the dwelling is built and adjacent to at the time of building it. So that was quite a good one and uh, worked out quite well. This guy moves here. Oh, we'll see where they go. It's a two. Uh, it would normally go here. So it has to come in here and we'll start a battle. This will come in. Nothing else will join in, but um, they get um, one. My wizard gets a single dice. There's two dice for the um, Ghost, but I'm going to play uh, my sword to give me a second dice. And again, it's just a straight roll off. And the ghost wins, so my guy goes to the underworld. I get the sword back for losing. And they go off on the glory track. They don't get any. Um, uh, well, actually, they, uh, they do get the benefit of going up on the glory track. So let's stick them. Let's stick them up on this one that there isn't any one on currently. So it's there on its own. Doesn't matter because he, even if you share those at the end, um, you will get the points. There are some cards that you get where if you're the highest on the track, you get um, certain benefits as well. Um, but that was my uh, that was the ghost's turn. It moved in and uh, did the battle. So back to me. I've just got a single worker left. What do we want to do? I think I'm going to come over here because I've got nobody left. I can go anywhere, and I'm going to take that single gold resource. And the watcher comes over here. Back to the ghosts. A four. Um, it can't again do an adjacent tile because there isn't one, so it's going to sit in here. So again, there's going to be a fight. Um, it can't construct a dwelling um, because there's a dwelling already there, so that's the end of that card. And um, I don't get the benefit of things in um, 
the underworld gaining dice like the ghost does, but I've still got that sword from last turn, so I'm going to play it. So I get two to one dice, and I score a six and a one, and it scores a three, so that goes to the underworld. Uh, I go up one, I get a resource, so I'm going to take a potion because I can spend those with the wizard as uh, wilds. Um, so that was uh, the ghost's turn. My turn is just going to be a single regroup. So I'm going to come back with that and let's spend two more resources. and get my fifth worker out and then these two guys come back from the underworld and that's my regroup action so we're back with the ghosts let's put a card under here it's a one so it can't go here which is where it would not have to go so it comes in here with the watcher they get another adventure card which is one of the yellows so they're building up a few adventure cards in this stack. So back to me to uh, kickstart another turn for myself. So let's just check how the uh, dungeon So, when you're du dungeon dungeoning, you um, perform steps one to four. So you reveal the top tile from the realm stack and select on a location along the edge of Eldervale in which to place it. It must be positioned so at least uh, two uh, hexes touch it. Um, you can choose one up, face up adventure card from the board and pay its cost and move the card to your tableau. Um, you can obtain a second card um, or you burn one of the cards that are there. Now I can only go and do that action in the dungeon if I can actually pay the cost to buy at least one of the face up cards. Um, so. Um, what can we get? They're not really very good at the minute, so I'm not sure I want to uh, to even do that. I mean, it will bring out a new realm tile, so that would help. Um, so I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a new card. I'm going to use my two gold, because they are wild. Uh, my worker is the one that I'm going to put on the dungeon. Actually, no, I think I'll do that action with the um, with the dragon. So that card there, and I'm going to burn one of these other cards, as it says. So basically that just means it goes to the bottom of the stack. They're all pretty useless at the minute. But what that does is this guy's going to come in and there's going to be a battle. It's got a worker in the underworld so it's going to get two dice and my dragon gets three. Uh, so it scored two and a two, I got a four, three and a one, so I win. Um, I go up there, I go up on another track, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use it to get two potions straight away, because for me those are wild when I use my wizard. Uh, but I've also got to put this new tile out as well. I think we'll put it over here. The watcher will come in there. Get 
see what the ghosts are going to do. It's a five. Uh, it can't go above here, so that's going to sit in there. So the dragons are going to fight. They, it can't construct a dwelling because there is no, it's not a worker. But there's going to be a straight battle between the two dragons with three dice each. Well, I scored two sixes and a two. It scored six, three and two. So the, actually it gets, I should have rolled an extra two dice for it. No, it's got a five and a two. So I still win with two sixes. So again, I go up on a uh, glory track which means I get another orb and two victory points. And I think I'm going to place that up here and get three swords. There seem to be more battles coming along. If you get all the way to the end of the glory track, you can't go any further. You just continue um, if you win more battles, you just get two victory points each turn that you win a, uh, a battle. Uh, so that was the ghost's turn because they put their um, dragon into the battle. They don't have any workers on there now, so if I roll a four or a five, they would do a regroup and they would score some points because they've got two units in the mill area. So I've still got guys out on the board, so I'm going to go in here and I should have put out these two remaining stacks. So let's do that. And I'm going to take the one with the coin and cash that in. So we're back with the ghosts for four. So again, that is what's going to happen. They get their units back from here. So one, two, three, four, and five. But they've got two guys in this realm here. So they score four points. And that's the end of their turn. I've got a wizard and a worker left. So I'm going to go here and I'll get another potion. So back with the ghosts and the watcher will come in here. It's a three. It says it's going to go to the dungeon and it's also going to roll for a new adventure card which is a two. It's another yellow. But there is a battle. So it's going to get one dice. The dragon's going to get three. I'm not going to take any of my workers um, and bring them into the battle. I'm going to leave them where they are. It only rolled a one, so it loses. I go up on the glory track. I can get two resources of any type, so I'm going to get gems. So it's back to me, and I'm going to go to the mill and immediately do another dwelling with this guy over here and it says three gems so I'm going to use two of them which is what I just picked up and because it's the wizard I can use his action his special ability of paying in potions and I then place that dwelling down it's on a tile next to both a ruin and one other dwelling so I get four victory points but also 
I go up two on the glory track of that particular one there. And we're back with the ghosts. That goes into here. So that was my last placement. It's a one. So again, it says go into, actually I think that was the card from last time, I just didn't move it. So that would say construct a dwelling, but it can't, um, but uh, it goes into the portal because that's the next one to the left, but it can't construct a dwelling in a ruin. It still has to follow the same uh, rules of doing that as everybody else. You can only construct dwellings on actual realm tiles. The, the ruins are exactly what they say. They are just uh, ruins within the game. So um, it's back to me. I haven't got anybody to place. So I'm going to start bringing people back. I'm going to use the wizard. And I'm going to use... a tool, a potion as a tool, and a sword, and that is going to bring out my warrior as an available worker, and then my other guy is going to come back. Uh, I can't dwell anywhere, so he's going to get a potion as a resource, and then I can bring my dragon back onto this card and get a scroll. So that's me done. Back with the ghosts. Two. It's going to go to the fortress, which is here. Place this card in the ghost card discard pile, then shuffle it bar, uh, back. So we shuffle all of the cards back together. It only had two cards left anyway, but we, we get to uh, shuffle these all back in. And the storm is going to move in and fight. So it's going to move into here. That's going to come in as well. It's going to get three dice because it's got one in uh, the underworld and five dice for the living storm. The ghosts win because they scored six and a five and the highest dice for the storm was only a five. So they move up one and they get two victory points. They don't get any orbs and things, but that's killed off the living storm for the time being. And it's also meant that those two are now both in there. Uh, so they will um, generate more victory points for them unless I do some sort of manoeuvre that brings them both out of that area. I think that was in here. Now... Do we want to be a little bit sneaky here? Yeah, I'm going to... Hmm. 
Let's risk it. I'm going to go into here. That gets me a adventure card, I believe. But I have to, I'm not sure if I get that free or I have to still pay for it to be honest. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go there, get and buy this adventure card for two potions and two scrolls. Actually, I'm not sure I need that. No. Um, Let's go. Let's go into this one and we'll just get a potion instead. <coughs> so they're going to rush in. They get three dice because they've got a guy in the underworld. I get three dice because it's a dragon. Uh, they win 654, I got 643. So the dragon loses, I get a sword for losing the battle. I could have put two swords into the battle. They go up on the glory track. <coughs> and the watcher comes into there. Four. So they go down into the fortress. So, uh, back to me, I need to try and force get rid of these guys to be able to do a plan. So I'm going to put my warrior into here and force a battle. This is going to come in so they're going to get four dice. I've got two, but I'm going to play four swords to give me all six and I've got another quest card here that says to complete the quest you must roll all six dice in a battle gain three victory points so that's quite a good card for me to play it moves me a bit further down and away from them so they get four dice I get six They've scored five and two threes. I've scored a five and two fours, so they lose. And I move up by another two points. It's got rid of their guys. The Watcher stays in that particular realm because that's where I went. Let's see where they're gonna go. A four. They're going to go into the portal, choose one destroyed monster and return it to its lair. So it's back out, uh, the storm. So I'm going to place my guy in here, take two scrolls straight away. Watcher comes in there. That was the previous one. Let's see where they go this time. Three. 
they can't go into the adjacent realm so they're going to go into the uh, realm sorry actually I should have been in uh, in here and not taken that but taken a uh, gem instead so those two go back um, they would still have to come in here simply because oh they, sorry they've gone into the portal um, sorry they, they're going into the same realm as me because they can't go anywhere else uh, with their warrior and I've got my warrior as well which I'm going to move in so I'm going to get three dice but they're going to get four for that and two so they're going to get all six to my three so I'm going to need a very lucky roll here to survive and I don't because they rolled three fives and I only rolled one five so I lose both of my guys um, get swords for that but that has scuppered what I wanted to do which was build another dwelling which, which would have been my fifth um, so back to me can go pretty much anywhere and if I go up here and take the gem I'm not going to be attacked which means I can bring him back so three they haven't got any workers so um, they're going to start to regroup so they've got the worker to come uh, the warrior to come back They've got this guy in the portal, which gives them two points. And then they've got the other four guys from the underworld. Okay, so all I can do is bring this guy back. I'm going to pay one resource of any kind, so I will I'll use a scroll and bring out my last worker. And then these three guys come back and do nothing. And we're back with the ghosts. Oh. oh, that's the wizard. He's going to sit in here. Doesn't construct a dwelling, but it does bring this chap in. He's going to get five dice to one dice. We've got nobody in the underworld. And luckily, the Storm rolled a five because the wizard rolled a five, so the wizard dies and goes into the underworld. It does mean now that obviously, if they roll a six, um, they're going to regroup again, but they've got virtually nobody out on the board. So, um, back to me, let's see what we can do here. I think what I need to try and do is draw this guy away. So let's put a warrior out here. This is going to rush. I'm going to use both of the swords. So I get four dice and it gets five dice. Straight roll off. I scored a five and a four and a three and a one. And it scored two five, so it wins. I go into the underworld. I get a sword, 
but it has drawn him away from where I really want to be and what I want to do. So we go back to the ghosts, roll the dice, it's a three. So they're going to go into the fortress because that's the up to the left and they're going to bring out a new realm tile. It's another monster. Let's uh, let's stick it up here, out of the way of them. I've got another pile of bits to come out. They get a new card. And back to me. I'm going to risk uh, let's stick out the dragon first. We'll We'll take that and leave it in the tray, not cash it in yet. It's going to draw this in, so it's going to get one dice to my three. Actually, it's going to get two dice because it's got a unit in the underworld. Um, I'm going to use a sword so I get an extra dice. Double six and it scored a five, so I win. I get another two points for not being able to go up on the glory track. Uh, it has got rid of its unit that comes into there. It's a one, it says it's going to go into the fortress and reshuffle the pack. So So that's back to me. I'm going to sit in, I'm going to come in here. That is going to draw this guy in, but I'm going to move my dragon in. So I'm going to get four dice. It's going to get three dice because it's got two units in the underworld that get a dice as well. Um, I get one of those first. And it wins, unfortunately. It's doing its best to scupper my plans. I do get a sword for losing. It goes up on the glory track and moves up there. So back to the ghost. The five. So it goes in there. Nothing else happens. So back to me. So I'm going to risk this. I've got two dice. It gets three dice. Four dice when this guy moves in. It wins again. So I get another sword. See where it goes. Uh, two can't go to the left, so it goes into the same realm. Let's go up on the glory track for that previous win and gets another two points. Oh, and it should get another adventure card, which is a three. So it gets this one. If 
I've only got the wizard left. exactly what the mage tower does. Spend any two resources, they do not need to be the same type, to draw three cards from the magic deck and add them to your hand. Then choose any single card from your hand and place it in the discard pile. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use two potions. Draw three cards and then get rid of one of any of the cards that I've got. Keep that one. Keep that one and that one and get rid of that one. Because those cards will potentially give me points at the end. It is going to mean there is a battle. So that thing gets five dice. I only get one. Um, I'm not going to spend a sword, it's not worth it because I think I might lose it. Well actually I'm going to get the sword back so I might as well, if I lose I get the sword back. I lost heavily, it goes into there and I get the sword back. So the watcher would sit in there, it's a two. The warrior comes into the portal, gets a new adventure card, which is another yellow. It's got quite a stash of cards, but they're only from two different realms. I keep rolling the same numbers. So it's got quite a few cards here. Uh, I haven't got anything to do other than regroup and I don't get any actions because they're all dead and they come back from the underworld. So we go straight back to the ghosts. It's a four. It can't go anywhere else apart from here. It does get another adventure card. This time it gets a red one. So that's a bit different. Um, it does trigger a battle though, it gets three dice to five. Uh, it loses. So they go into there. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to go in here and get that as a resource. Pay a sword, it's going to bring all of these in. I'm going to get four dice, it's going to get its maximum of six because it's got five there and three in there but you can't roll more than six ever in a battle. So it gets to say the full six, I get four because I have a um, dragon and spent one sword. And it wins. But it has pulled all of those units out of realm tiles 
uh, ruined tiles. It was costly but potentially worth it if I'd have won, I'd have had a free board potentially. That goes into there. They're going to regroup, so you get these guys back. One, two, three. All of these guys come back, but they don't score any points because they're not in round tile or uh, ruin tiles. So it saved quite a few points being given away by bringing them out of that area. And now there's nothing on the board. So I'm going to go in here, get this and cash it in straight away for two swords just in case I have a battle and let's see what they do number three well their work is going to go in there and they again get an adventure card another yellow and there is a battle we get one dice each I'm going to spend these two swords to give me two extra dice. I get two sixes and a five to its four, so I win. I get another two victory points <coughs> coming up on the glory track. And the ghost comes back again with a three. Goes up here and gets another adventure card, another yellow. Uh, I'm going to go here and pay two gems and a potion. Actually, I'll cash this other token in for a gem and um, make this a dwelling. And that's going to give me two for six victory points. The monster's going to rush my wizard. Um, I'm going to play this card, play at the point of a battle, up to two units from my ready area may join the battle, I've got those two guys left. So I'm going to play that card. <coughs> so that's going to give me a total of four dice. It's going to get five. I've got no swords to play. So let's see what we get. And I get 6-3, it's got 6-4s, so I lose all of my guys. Um, it stays there, it wins the battle. Bit of a risk, but potential of getting more victory points if I'd have won. Uh, this guy would have been in here. That goes into the Mage Tower. They get another adventure card which this turn is one of these. A battle. So it gets five dice. And it gets two. If it rolls a single six, it's going to win. It doesn't. It rolls two fives, but the uh, the monster had got two fives and, and, and others, so that kills that off. I can't do anything other than regroup. And they don't get to perform any actions. Back with the ghosts. A five. <coughs> uh, it sure should have been there, so that was okay. Uh, five is wouldn't go there, so it goes here. The monster comes back in again. It's now going to get three dice to five. This time it loses again. So 
so back to me. Need to try and build one more dwelling and that will start the end phase. So I'm going to go up here and get a magic card. Oh, that's quite a good one. Um, back to the ghosts. The watcher comes up here. A two. Well, the warrior goes in there because it can't go higher. It can't disrupt a constructed dwelling because it's not a worker. But there is a battle, so it gets uh, two. Three, four, five dice. I get one dice. What I need to roll here is hopefully either a one or a six. I get a one. But there's no point in playing the card because it's rolled a six. I had a card that says play after you roll the dice. You may flip any of your dice to the opposite face. So if it hadn't rolled the six I could have switched my one to a six and one. But unfortunately it scored a 6 and then would have beaten all of my others. So I lose that battle and get a sword. Let's see what they do. They roll a 1. So they have to regroup. They're not going to score any points. Simply because... They didn't have anybody in any realm tiles. So I've still got people here but can't really do too much because I've lost my work. I shouldn't have 